Hello and welcome to Trigger Warning. Sorry a little bit late, but we've had some YouTube issues. However, we are streaming via my old YouTube channel, which is Hayden Hewitt, but it's now on triggerwarning.tv slash live. So you can watch and chat there, watch on Live Leak in higher quality, watch on Facebook and chat there, and we'll talk about the YouTube thing in a minute. But as soon as we've not had time to do fuck all else, we're going to have 20 seconds respite with the intro. It's time for Trigger Warning. Trigger Warning! Fuck your feelings, you little snowflake! TriggerWarning.tv Hello, and it's time for another joyous coming together that is Trigger Warning. <laughs> Been a bit busy here this evening. Uh, if you want to get in touch during the show, please do so. It's live at triggerwarning.tv if you'd like to send us an email. That would be very nice. It'll be read out by Cherry We're using his dulcet tones and perfect enunciation. That's the same address if you'd like to Skype in live as well, live at triggerwarning.tv. You can also tweet us at Triggered TV. We're over on Facebook. We'll be checking your comments, the comments from YouTube, everything else. I'm joined this evening, as ever, by my erstwhile colleagues, Mr. Showbiz, Graham Booth. Hello. How's it going? It's going great. How are you? <laughs> I'm all right. I'm a bit stressed, actually. I'm a bit, bit stressed. Yeah, there's, been, there's been quite a few things going on here. And it's then, been stressy. Really? And then, like, yeah, this is our fifth show of the night. <laughs> <laughs> we have. I'll tell you about that in a second. Our cherry. How do? How are you okay. doing, Poppet? Good, thank you very much. Doing good. Sound. You've had a, a pound. You've had a fun evening. <laughs> it's been eventful. We have been very busy here at the studio. We've uh, we did a, a live game face show. That went well. Yeah, it was all right. Like a little little doing little taster sessions again, mm. huh? just to get people. It's very good. If you don't watch them, you should. Graham's an excellent host. It's a good program if you like computer games. If you don't like computer games, you probably won't like it. But you can always watch it just to get your dose of Mr. Showbiz. You can never get enough, Mr. Showbiz. You know what I mean. Um, we've also filmed three episodes of Safe Space for our patrons. They'll be released over the coming weeks, where I've done another one, Graham did one, and our Cherry did one. I'm still red from it. I'm still red face from it. <laughs> what, mine? Happy, happy, happy Dog is going to love my one, isn't he? I, I picked the questions for Graham, the topics. For Graham. <laughs> you hadn't even prepped them. You, they just, I just knew. They three. just slipped Woo! off you dead easy, no problem. <laughs> uh, the reason we've had a delay with YouTube is we've had a 30 day streaming ban uh, <laughs> because we're naughty boys. Now, listen, before we get going, remember no complaining. Their game, their rules. It's fine. I understand. I, I don't quite understand where the sexual content is in Trigger Warning. Last week's show was cow slaughtering, which. If that's sexual content, I guess we're a bit stuck. But um, how it <laughs> how it came about, it said the video had been age restricted. Please click here to confirm. Now it was the same as all our other videos, so I clicked it. Got an email three minutes later. We've taken your video down. Oh, right, okay. It said click here to appeal. So I clicked there and said, oh, it's just like the others. Um, you know, it's fine. He said, your video is staying down and you're now banned from streaming for 30 days. I've not clicked any more buttons. Just in case we lose the channel altogether. We'll be uploading it there. Obviously uploading it to the mighty and huge Live League, who don't have Troll Central tonight. We weren't meant to have it last week. It was, it was, it was a stroke of luck. Because of something I can't talk about yet as to why it's going to happen. But it is going to happen. And um, you're going to love it. I've just been looking here at the YouTube channel. It's on my old personal YouTube channel. There's people saying good evening. I'm not entirely sure they know who I am. Or they're thinking, is this going to be a guitar thing? I'm sorry, guys. I've gotten used to you and it's all fucking bad. <laughs> oh, I don't need to copy those ones then because you can see them. I can right. see yeah, those yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. There's, uh, there's no guitar on tonight's show, but there's lots of swearing and talking about horrible things. But no animal slaughter videos this week. So, you know. I don't want to make it sound like we do that every week, usually. We don't. How are we looking on Facebook, Graham? Uh, the hearts are winning already this evening. Very, very happy there. We've got Alex. It's because I'm wearing this hoodie. 
Is that what it it's is? Always a popular hoodie. Yeah, usually the hearts are in a very close second, and then as soon as I mention it, boom, they go up. But no, we're already winning on hearts over likes tonight. We've got Alex, Tanya, James, uh, Guy, and Natalie. We've got actual ladies as well. Uh, ladies, unusual. Hello. Uh, Alex, as well as giving you hearts, said Yo Gang missed you all. Yo, <laughs> we only did this show on Sunday. <laughs> it feels like we're having a stop yeah. this week. And we did, and we've been talking constantly. We've done the podcast. Oh, the I, podcast honestly, last night. I came here today. I was. I, I thought, what? What? I'm, when Aiden goes to me and says, "How are you doing?" or whatever, I'm like. <laughs> Well, I don't know. You were only talking to me like last night, and then it's it's, it's for the show. I've got dear. Na- I know, but I've got I, 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 I thought I've got nothing to say, and then I got here, and we were like dogs for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> so she went, oh, yeah. um, the podcast last night that'll be released tomorrow. By the way, that was a good one. Uh, yeah. It was supposed to be thirty minutes for everybody, and then thirty minutes for our patrons on Patreon dot com uh, slash Trigger Warning TV. Help us out. We'll make it worth your while. New pricing coming soon as well. We've been having, I was going to say a meeting. We had a quick chat about it for two minutes, but it, anyway, yeah. there's well, lots of news coming up for Trigger Warning that I want to talk about afterwards. It's, it's it's the thoughts that we've been floating around, haven't we? And we, yeah. can, we can do the higher one for the for the other thing that's yeah, coming. It's been so bouncing around. around but, if that uh, other thing comes yeah. together. Uh, but we're just supposed to do half an hour of the regular podcast and then half an hour for our patrons. And what happened is because if Graham and I aren't supervised very carefully, we just sit chatting. So we did th- about 40 minutes for everybody, and then half an hour of just us having a chat. For I mean, it was quite dark at some it point. It's got pretty fucking bit dark. too much truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're gonna have fun, uh, patrons. You're gonna have fun trying to spot the spot the jokes and the truth because <laughs> it flips quite quickly mid sentence. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, uh, that'll be a good podcast. I'm looking forward to that coming out next week. We'll probably ask uh, Jamie or Daz to come and keep an eye on us. And keep us in line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, although saying that when we do it with those guys, it ends up being like two hours long. But anyway, <laughs> whatever. Uh, so uh, we've got Tiny Rick on Trigger Live, Trigger Warning TV forward slash live. You know, we've got the chat room there on the official website. It's a Tiny Rick in the house. Hello, Tiny uh, Rick. Sign up. House. Sign up. So we. So it's you. So you're not a non-Trigger six two eight anymore. Uh, Happy Dog. When we were late on, said, "Come on, I want to see one of the cherry." pupil size pool today <laughs> hashtag Come team on. cherry um, I want to see who's won the cherry but uh, it doesn't it doesn't actually grammatically make a lot of sense that no. he's from Newcastle he, he, wants, oh, yeah, yeah. he wants to see how big your eyes are oh, yeah. tonight yeah. <laughs> and on Triggerist 1627 says 14 users this is going well there's probably several hundred on live leak um, 14 watching on Trigger Warning, which is about right, to be honest. Yeah. And then we'll be, it's the, we're, n- we're not the BBC or ITV, or and we don't get millions of viewers. I'm fucking amazed we get them in the hundreds, sometimes the thousands. She scares the shit out of me. So when I see number 15, I feel quite comfortable. <laughs> I don't feel so bad. It's good. Yeah, it's good for the Trigger Warning. Someone says he's not signing up. All right, well, you don't have to. I don't know what you think we're going to do with your information, dude, but... We're changing all that anyway uh, at some point, but we'll come to the trigger warning um, soon. Happy Dog wants to get you banned off there. <laughs> I just yeah. saw that. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. And I've got to be honest, I've got an idea. I've not told anyone yet because it's my special idea. And I don't even think the rest of the trigger warning team are going to approve of this idea. But it's a very good idea. And it might be a little while till it happens now, but when it does, it's going to be so much fun. And if it doesn't end, result in what I hope it results in, wow, I'll be very impressed. But that's going to be great. So let's uh, let's crack on. Let me bring up my uh, running order. Running order. Last week, we spoke about halal and kosher slaughter and how it's a barbaric practice that has to be abolished. The videos have been uploaded uh, in just that segment on YouTube because the show is fucking gone. I'm going to re-upload the show to YouTube. They can't stop me doing that, can they? No. Be fine. Um, and how it is just a barbaric and terrible practice that's unnecessarily cruel and shocking and uh, should be done away with. Now, I was told, Graham, I mean, he got the fact from, who was it, off RSPCA? RSPCA's website, yeah. There we go. The 84% of halal meat is now stunned. However, someone showed me some factual information that it's, it's 
like the poultry, it's run through um, a bath of water with an electric current running through it. But it's not even based on weight or size. So some are stunned, some are still alive as they're plunged into boiling water, feathers pulled off, throats cut, innards pulled out. It's, it's not good. And the, the videos we pulled up for last week's show that we didn't include in the show of lambs being slaughtered and screaming and being on just the open f slaughter floor and things... It, it, the basic thing is, if it says halal or kosher, if you've got one eye out of human decency about you, don't eat the meat. All the halal and kosher products, you know, like soft drinks, you know, it doesn't matter, whatever. You know, but just, just don't, don't eat the places that sell meat that's halal or kosher. Now, what's more alarming is that someone on Live League informed me, and I did go to look into this, that we are often given halal and kosher meat through supermarkets without our knowledge end of carcass and things like that they don't have to tell us i think that's disgusting now obviously no politician will ever respond to me um i've only ever had like two tory mps follow me or one potential mp they won't speak to me because i'm a foul obnoxious prick okay i get that but we kind of need to do something but i can't set up the petition because it's never taken you're the beheading guy who gives a fuck right it's easy to shut me down by those people but we need to do something. This is bang out of order. So if it says halal or kosher, don't fucking eat it. It's cruel and it's barbaric and it's shit. And to the guy on Live League who's telling me about, well, slaughter's terrible anyway, does it really matter? Yeah, it pretty much fucking does, you know? If you've had a shit life, why make it worse by making it end really shit as well? I've got a feeling that chap had some religious investment in this, if I'm honest with you, because he also had a problem with Kurds, which we spoke about last week, that really pissed off the Turkish people, because Turkey's a fucking shithole, and a dreadful fucking country, with a dreadful leader. I'm sure the people are fine. I mean, not just saying that as a backhanded compliment, but those that support Erdogan and killing the Kurds, you cunts, you dreadful, your country's a shithole. Improve it, fix it. Don't tell me the Kurds are ISIS. They've shed more blood killing those bastards than anyone else come on turkey you can do better it's fucking it's only a cheap holiday anyway turkey isn't there's no other reason for going there i won't go there for that don't want to buy a fucking carpet i know how it works in these places curly slippers and carpets and shit is that racist nope good okay fuck them <laughs> there's no race of turks anyway is there um <laughs> gotta check because if you're going to be racist, you've got to double down, haven't you? Like Graham does on the podcasts. you just got to double down. Why do you hear Graham's safe space? <laughs> um, That's why my safe space is the reason why when you were like, is that racist? And I just thought, I'm just desensitised. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, when you, you watch you watch just loads and loads of killing, you don't care about it anymore. You watch loads of porn, you can't get, you know, you can't get a horny. That's what I feel like. Is that racist? I'm just like... Huh? No, it's fine, mate. Well, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Happy okay. Dogs just said, good luck about no halal, Hayden. Too many halal slaughter abattoirs in the UK. Prison food is all halal. Soon the supermarkets will follow. It's fucking disgusting, isn't it? It's fucking disgusting. Like I say, MPs, they will not speak to me. They won't engage me. And with good reason, it wouldn't be an establishment thing. It wouldn't be good to be associated with me. I've chatted with a couple, but it would never ever be on the record a i'm not famous enough not famous at all and b what there is about me out there is a bit harsh now that's fine with me but not so good if you want to actually do something in that respect maybe i should run for parliament so let's start a political party i said this years ago on live week let's just start a trigger warning political party um anyone can mm -hmm. yeah but i mean have you got a manifesto or anything or i just... can like that no problem did Arnie have, have I got a manifesto? <laughs> Give me a piece of paper in five minutes. I'll have a fucking corker. You, 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 you've had people here from the get-go demanding that of you, haven't you? The issue is, though, that not a lot of them live in Manchester. So they're not, no. probably not going to That's why it'd have to be a party. <laughs> yeah. You know, but I, actually, the majority of my Twitter followers are from... Well, no, there's a good percentage from the Northwest. But yeah. I only have a couple of thousand, so it doesn't mean anything. Hey, but maybe we should do it. The trigger warning uh, political party. Uh, well, the thing is as well, I mean, you, you could go viral super easily, couldn't you? Just run on some... Do it like Unrest Thompson did. You know, just fucking go for it. Do you know what? I'm going to get the that. forms tomorrow. I'm going to have a look through them. Fuck it. Tomorrow I've got all that fucking work to do. Doesn't matter. I'll find the time. <laughs> it's been a brutal week. <laughs> I've been working like a bastard. I've been doing sales <laughs> training. I've been training salespeople. 
<laughs> not for my company for someone else just as, as, as a favour and it's been very different on Tuesday I had to talk from 10am until 4pm about sales <laughs> just, I appreciate your enthusiasm dude but <laughs> can we start a political party in June or something? no 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 <laughs> I have to have the idea and do it why, why wait till June it'll be too late by then it's like the radio station, isn't it? Yeah, I know, I know. Graham, I'm thinking about having a radio station too. I was like, Graham, we've got a radio station, dude. Let's do this. I d yeah, I just, I can't. I have to keep. Got to keep right, moving. But if you do, if you do start a political yeah. party or when, can I, can I go like that? Uh, what was his name? Milo, and wear like a flat jacket. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sweet, do whatever you right. want, dude. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. I'll never hold you back. Instantly. I've got, I mean, I've got all that shit. I'll never oppress. Waiting to go. That's not like your self-expression, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'd never do that. You be who you want to be, okay. and be proud. Be there for you, Thank as you. will the people, the good people. Cherry for Home Secretary and Graham for Foreign Secretary. Yeah, but Graham fucking hates foreigners. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that he's a good choice for that. I don't. I, I, what? I we'll have to think about that. Um, right, let's let's do some let's do some news news. <laughs> let's talk about some shit. Yeah. Um, this was a particular favourite of mine recently in the papers. Uh, there's a chap called John Kerno. John Kerno is an 80-year-old man. There he is. Look at him, little old man. You might be wondering, if you're not from the UK or haven't seen the news, why there's a picture of a cow next to him. Um, John has been banned from every farm with animals in Britain after molesting a herd of dairy cows uh, that he'd been visiting for 10 years. After the court case, the cow's owners were obviously quite happy that he's been banned. And they said, we just thought he liked the place and cows. We just didn't know how much he liked cows. Apparently he was caught. <laughs> Apparently he was caught, <laughs> caught with his arm all the way up a cow's anus whilst masturbating. <laughs> as furiously as an 80-year-old man can. Whoa. <laughs> I've not spoken about this out loud. <laughs> Fucking shoulder deep in a cow's ass while you have a wank. That's pretty specialist. Apparently the cow was just stood there. <laughs> they didn't mind. <laughs> it, was, it was more the owners of the cows that were upset. So yeah, after being found uh, apparently nearly shoulder deep, his arm, the text was all the way up in the cow's anus. <laughs> Whilst masturbating. Imagine finding that. Just go, oh, the old chap's in with the cows. Let's go sail. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I've not actually said any of that out loud, and for some reason, it tickled me far more than I thought it would. <sighs> okay, I've got my shit. Sorry about that, guys. It's not often... <laughs> I just enjoyed that one far more than I... I wish I could have just watched someone telling me that. I don't really... It reminds me of that case a few years ago. I wish I could remember the guy's name. Some people on a, a train had stopped in the countryside and they had to... They had to wait. And they saw a man... <laughs> naked in a field from the waist down. Still had his socks on. Bothering the cows. Trying to get the cow to perform oral sex on him. So when the police got there, he said, Duh. Do you know it's the funniest thing? <laughs> I was just having a rest in the field. And when I stood up, my pants fell down. And the cows just wouldn't leave me alone. Now, if he's being truthful, which I'm sure he is, maybe they didn't mind this old fella doing what he did. Maybe it's a cow thing. Because if you think they usually get fucked by bulls, granted, not up there, the wrong gun. But they used to big them. Vets are always up there, aren't they? Graham. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> Vets do insert their arms. Farmers do as well, don't they, to get the get the get the, the babies out and all that, and have a good check around. But I don't know. 
that the other wank while they do it. No, but in I've fa- not seen that on that Vets in Practice program. But they got those special. TV. But as far as the cows concerned, they're not going to know the difference, are they? <laughs> it's a cow who doesn't mind. <laughs> yeah, because he's always eat this. He, she's always getting it like. So there we go. Uh, as it is, <laughs> sexual pioneer, wankstronaut John Kerno banned, banned for ten years. He's going to have to like get into VR or something, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> He's going to have to get into something. I don't know. Let's let into something. Farm simulator. (laughs) (laughs) That'd be good for a nap, wouldn't it? (laughs) Well, there is farm simulator. What could he do, though? Because, you know, like, obviously, if you can't get a girlfriend, you get yourself one of those, uh, what are they called? With the the torches. Mm. Fleshlight. Fleshlight, that's the one. Or a vajankle. A vajankle, yeah. (laughs) Real doll. Um, So what's what's he going to do, then, to sort himself out? Not sure. <laughs> Phil, I'm, I imagine Philly's bath full of jelly and shit. Jelly stick shit. his arm in it and have a wank. Or maybe you know the dryer, one of those those tubes that comes off the dryer. Maybe you could uh, fill yeah, that. They're nice and it. warm. You could loop one of them. And it'd have a sort of thingy with it. Occasional blasts of warm gas. Whilst as well. the dryer's on. Mm, Got one of them at home. Shall I give it a whirl? Load of jelly. Load of air. Uh, how do I explain that? Why is this too pull? Oh, I don't know. The lad must have just pushed a load of food down it or something. This is, this is whilst the forms for your new political party are on the table beside you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm multitasking. <laughs> I'm thinking here. Um, well, I've seen this, what we've just got. Oh, what's that? It's an email of uh, Tanya. Uh, introduction to registering a political party. She sent us a forms. She's so kind. Yeah, I know they're out there. I might have to have a look. I'm seriously going to have a look at that. I actually am. I, what, what, cut it's her. on the email. I, I know if it. you want to run for office, you have to pay a lot of fucking money, though. I don't fancy losing five grand on it, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see how we go. Maybe we can do a GoFundMe. You know, yeah. Years and years ago, uh, I was in a band called The Naked Apes, and not uh, Screaming Lord Such, it was a guy called Symbol. Um, he was like the Ashton representative, introduced my band on stage. Right. There you go. Be cool. Was that when Harrop was in the band as well? Yes. <laughs> There's a political thinker if ever I thought. <laughs> uh, oh, bless him. We, we've got a few people to catch up on, actually. Axel oh. Foley said, vote Hayden. Um, I didn't say I was running. <laughs> I just said I was going to start the fucking party. Uh, Tiny Rick said, cow fucker. Uh, he seems very happy about that. And I know it's Tiny Rick because Tiny Rick signed up. Apparently it took seconds. There, there you go. go. Painless as um, well. Alex has said, that's what I love about you. One minute you're forming a political political party the next you're pissing yourself over an OAP fisting and then uh, someone else replied to that just saying who's Alex Doust Alex is uh, the chap responsible for when we go back to do the radio show he uploads the radio shows to our podcast host and um, actually glad you're there Alex I need to get in touch with you this week help out with the video stuff as well if you're up for it so well Anon 1630 asked that and Alex replied with some dreadful arsehole well yeah he is a dreadful arsehole that's why he's part of the trigger warning (laughs) team but Alex is a official trigger warning team if you go to the team page Alex is on there it's because he's important also if you look at the team page it does it is really starting to look like the Republican Party (laughs) so if no ladies want to get involved in trigger warning we're gonna have to go poaching pictures off Google guys it's, it's looking a bit great. Everyone, like, apart from, obviously, young Alex and Graham, who's getting there now. Most everyone's middle-aged and white. Uh, Alex also wanted to congratulate your banning. Uh, he wanted to congratulate us and the team. It, there was not much effort involved no. in my part, I've got to be honest. I'm surprised you got away with that after <laughs> shit you did. I, I'm amazed as well. Facebook as well, we've got Stephen said, Evening Oafs. There you go. Um, Evening, dickhead. 16.30 is not happy about the LL chat. It's a matter of principle. Well, (laughs) it's going to be off for a while, I'm sorry. We can't put resources into fixing that one because we're doing something else. So you're just going to have to... I'm sorry, guys. It it was a bit of a surprise that it was on last week, wasn't it? Yeah, I was very surprised it turned up last week. That was was literally... uh, I would say a miracle. It was actually someone's very hard work uh, that got it functioning. Um, I'm sure there was something else I was going to address. Have we got any emails there, Cherry? Yeah, we've got one off Steve about uh, Halal. Why can't he just kill the animal and then bleed it out? Because God said so. God must be listened to. God said, and yea, <laughs> ye shall make animals suffer greatly for your spaghetti bolognese. 
Graham seems very happy. Happy Dog that said that Graham's checking Google for cosplay cows as we speak. <laughs> he fucking was. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Chappie has said that even the former PM put his knob in a dead pig. But David Cameron's a pig fucker, so isn't he? Oh, we've got G.I. Joe on the line if you're interested. Oh, God, didn't you? Oh, he's just going to moan, isn't he? He's going to moan incessantly. Yeah, why not? Let's let's speak to him. We're going to Skype call for a bit. Hello. What's up? Um, just the usual. You know, doing a show, hanging out. This is a very noisy line. How are you doing, fella? Looking good. Is this better? A very noisy line. No, I can't do nothing about the noise. Don't worry about the noise. It'll be fine. How are you doing, fella? You're looking good. I'm triggered! I think you were triggered about 20 years ago, dude. Like, really fucking hard. <laughs> He's on the upswing of his cycle, lads. This could be alright. So, how's life, Giorgio? Is it treating you well? In and out. I have no idea what's fucking going on here. I'm lost. Oh, I've had an idea. Cherry. Yo. <clears throat> there we go. And he can, uh, oh yeah, get rid of that screen. Oh yeah. And he can go. bitch to me about that in a PM later like he usually does when we cut him off. <laughs> well, I won't call again then. <laughs> we do like you calling, just like cutting you off as well. Um, but yeah, something was going on there. G.I. Joe though, it can't be easy being a racist conservative. And a zany kind of guy at the same time. Must be very difficult. That was special even for him though, wasn't it? That was, <laughs> it was quite up there. <laughs> He's definitely on the upswing of the cycle. Yeah. No two ways about that. Good for him, good for him. We've had an email for Richard saying, What party? You are all the Queen's subject. Who said that? Richard. Yeah, yeah, Richard, go fuck yourself. I bow to nobody except a gunpoint, obviously. But I'm not subject of any motherfucker. No, nope, never bow to them, never acknowledge them, fuck them, don't like them. Other people do, yeah, there you go. No, I'll have no fucking part of that. Trigger warning party. Get wrecked can be the, uh, because they always have a tagline, don't they? Like putting Britain back to work and all that sort of shit. Can't have like, no. Fuck your feelings. M bah. <laughs> Make Britain, m Make Britain great again, m That doesn't work. Have you seen a... Mega! Deaf. Hang on. <laughs> hey. uh, yeah. Mega! Make England great again. Fuck Scotland and Wales and Ireland. Have you seen the adverts for the new Purge film? It's no. the, They've got the red Trump hat and it's and it's a prequel. It's the first Purge ever. Oh, right. And, it's, and it says, like, first Purge, you know, something like that on Ooh. it. And that's how they're advertising it and they're just pissing so many people I like, off. I like the first Purge. But this, but this is a film about the first ever purge, and they're obviously oh. implying that that's what uh, eight years of Trump will do. <laughs> <laughs> happy Dog's very happy someone said we're uh, subjects of the Queen, because he's a demented royalist, isn't he? He's got this thing about posh people. He defers to them and sees them as his superior. There he is. He's a bit of a forelock tugger, Happy Dog. Oh, bless him. He'd let the hunt go through his garden. <laughs> I wouldn't. He's saluting. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir! <laughs> And he cunt goes through my fucking garden with a trumpet and a horse, walks out with that trumpet <laughs> right the way up his ass. Uh, Fritz has pointed out that uh, G.I. Joe is just a normal live leaker. So there you go. <laughs> and, and that he lives under the railway. <laughs> Gonna have to correct you. G.I. Joe is not a normal anything. We like it that he calls. We like it that he hangs out. I love the fact that he can complain incessantly about the same thing for months. But normal, no G.I. Joe is is not normal. I've met live leakers. None of them are like G.I. Joe. Except G.I. Joe, he's unique. He's a one-off. He's special. When they made him, they broke the mold on purpose. Right, I want to talk a little bit, only a little bit, tiny little bit, about faith schools. Um, hey, you got that Muslim school, Christian school, Jewish school. The perfect illustration. Well done, Graham. You're, sh you're fucking good at what you do, aren't you? <laughs> um, he is. Um, 
I don't like face skulls, obviously, being uh, an atheist alone. It's, I don't even, why do I, I don't even like describing myself as that, because that implies, like, it, it's like Neil deGrasse Tyson once said, there's no word for someone that doesn't play golf, except there is, of course, you know, like, normal, not a paedophile. But, um, that's three words. Um, I lost my track there, I think about paedophiles and golf. Anyway, obviously I don't believe in God, I don't like religion, um, I, I just don't like it. I, I respect everyone's right to believe whatever they want, worship whatever the fuck you like, providing you don't inflict it on other people. But faith schools, I've always found to be kind of scary, kind of wrong, you know, insidious things. Now, Ofsted, here in the UK, uh, it's the department responsible for inspecting schools and saying what standards they are, enforcing standards and things of that nature, released a report, and in it they said, religious belief is being used to actively pervert young minds. Now, obviously, everyone jumps to the idea about sexual, but I imagine that's probably only in the Catholic schools. Because, as we know, they, they fucking love a bit of that, don't they? Um, however, <laughs> a couple of Catholic viewers we've just lost there. <laughs> however, what they mean, of course, is they're indoctrinating their minds, they're perverting the sciences and everything like that with this creationist rubbish that should never be taught to children. And the argument I hear a lot is that, well, Catholic schools are obviously... You know, sorry, predominantly quite high achieving. They get good results, so they're doing good. But you see, it's only good as a fucking byproduct. Faith schools have one job, one mission, and that is to indoctrinate children into the cult so they stay for the rest of their lives and then indoctrinate their children. I find this to be dreadful. I think in the home, how parents raise their children, if they want to raise them with a religion, on, with no religion or whatever, that's their business. That's a parent's choice. I don't think there's a place in school for myth and lies of that nature anyway. I'm all for telling your kids there's a Santa Claus, there's a tooth fairy. Let them believe the nonsense, teach them about mythology, all these things. But we don't teach them about the tooth fairy and say, and if you don't believe in the tooth fairy, you're going to hell. At least no one normal ever says anything like that. But that is at the heart of most religion, isn't it? Never break away from the faith. Must believe, must believe. You must believe, and your religion is right. All the others are heathens and they're non-believers. Mmm, they're bad people. Never mind the atheists, they're just scum. And that's how that works. And I think it's high time that we kick them to the curb. There's no place in society for faith schools anymore. Teach children about religion, absolutely, but in the abstract sense. People want to do it at home, at the church, at the mosque, at the synagogue. It's their business, you know, private business. Private is private. I still think it's fucking abuse, but it's private, okay? Even if given the opportunity, I wouldn't reach into people's private lives in that manner. But indoctrinating a school, look at schools in the US. With fucking teaching, they want to teach creationism, which is ridiculous. We'll call them back in just a minute. I'll just get this out of the way. <laughs> just get it out of the way, get it done. But they want to teach creationism. How can you teach that shit? Grown people have said to me in the last two days, after many Twitter arguments about that fucking dreadful pedo off the Glee TV series that died in the woods cold and alone with a rope round his neck and his pants full of his own shit. Banging on to me about God. And Adam and Eve did this. It's like, have you fucking heard yourself? There are adults in this world that believe the world started with two human beings. Made by God. Two! If that were the case, we'd all look like people from Eastern Europe with hair lips and ginger hair. We'd be chromosomally destroyed. We'd be basically packets of soup just full of swampy innards with malfunctioning brains. We'd be fucked. It's bullshit. They believe the Earth is only 5,000 years old, but those people will mock some flat earthers as if it's any more ridiculous. No, there's no place, faith schools. Get rid of them. Fuck them off. No more, and especially, let's stop these tax breaks or the, the tax exemptions 
for churches and things like that. Let's do away with that shit as well. Let them pay the way. They've got plenty of money. Fuck them. Let them pay the way. Um, why are people sharing that with me? I'm not entirely sure. What are your thoughts on faith schools? Get in touch. Let us know. I would like to know. It can't just be me that doesn't like them. Um, can it? Um, right, that Skype call, was it an anonymous one, or? Sorry for missing you. Find out. I was just having my whinge. I don't like to interrupt my whinge. We're just going to give him a ring back now. Okay, I'll get my uh, cool headphones on, ready. Oh, it's it's the big, the huge, the huge one. Up there. You know, like, when there's loads of them. Oh, all right, okay. Is that all right? Yeah, do you want to give it a go? If you start bitching about live leak, we'll just, but well, I'll call them names and then we'll fuck okay, them up. Okay, you are live. Hello! Hey, bud. Hello. Oh. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Zeke Heil. Zeke Heil, why are you saluting me? Yeah, absolutely. Well done, in the correct way. I hope you clicked your heels together. How are you guys doing? I can't see anybody. I don't know if there's a picture up there, but who's there? Uh, we got Rygar, we got Bear Jew, we got Jamie, uh, you know him as... I forget what his name was on Live League. 333. Live League 333, we got uh, Peasman, we got Mr. Fail-A-Lot. Hi. Mr. Fail-A-Lot, hello! Uh, we got Laura, you know her as Pixel, Pixel Fighter. Fighter. Hello, and Pixel we got, Fighter. And we, we got my leper friend. Oh, we got the dude smoking in his car again who's not allowed in his house. That's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> hello, <laughs> sir. Here's my house. And you're not allowed in it. Oh, well, my wife, Anna Posse. <laughs> <laughs> bad, real bad. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. But it looks like a comfortable car. Looks like a nice place to be. Mr. Failalot, how are you keeping? Hey there, Hayden. Sugar tits. I'm he turned. He turned up for a live leak meetup. You know, Graham. Oh yeah. You'd oh. like him. You really would I was like there, him. Man. You would. He was dressed I as a bear. I bald head. I still use that hand to touch myself on a daily basis, by the way. That's, Thank you. That's, <laughs> don't worry about hey, it. So, so Hayden, you, are, you guys move, are you guys moving on from uh, LiveLeak.com? Is that what trigger no. warning is? No. No. Um, I only ask because no, you it's just disabled a, it's the just, chat room on, that, on there again. No, we didn't disable the chat room. It's fucked. <laughs> oh, okay. Last week, one of the tech guys, uh, there was an update to the code which is incompatible with what we're doing at the moment. One of the tech guys managed to patch it, but it's too much hassle. It's an absolute nightmare to do. Um, so he managed to cobble it together last week, but it's just, we're moving towards something else. We haven't disabled it. Believe me, before long... Oh, my mistake. My it'll, mistake. It's okay. Before long, it'll all be back up on Lively. Troll Central will be rocking out again, doing its thing. Trigger one is just, it's just a little project. It's not a replacement or it's something else. It's just a little project, a little bit of fun. Cool. That's all cool. it is. Don't worry, Live League's still. I'm sure. I'm my sure obsession. we're all glad to hear that here. Yeah, Live League's so we, still we, my obsession and always yeah. will be. Live League's the thing that brought all of us together. So. And I, I can see it's done so with love and care. Uh, yeah, it's sure. It's wonderful. I'm, it's <laughs> lovely to see people finding each other. It makes me very happy. Oh, we're playing with her now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make love to you all. Right, guys, we got to move on. We're going to run out of time. Thank you so much for getting in touch, though. We were just talking about you lot a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, cool were you? The group. Yeah, well, it was cool when Aww. we got the group chat up. We enjoyed it. So it's nice speaking to a few people at once. Makes me feel like I've socialized, and then I don't have to do it again for a couple of months. Absolutely. Okay. All Absolutely. All right, shout out to uh, Leaky Hall. Shout get, out to Leaky yeah. Hall. Get all your shout outs out yeah. one at a time. All your shout-outs one at a time from the top. Who do you want? Come on, from Pixel Fighter right. across. Leaking hole who passed in September of twenty uh, last year. Absolutely. That's my that's yeah. my shout out. Mine too. Leaky leaky. There we go. I got one. Oh, come I got one. My cat. My cat's name's Pedroia. Yeah, dude. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Icky Jim. Of Barnsy. Icky yeah, Jim. Barnsy. Barnsy. <laughs> Oh, oh wait, no, there's wait, too many. It's uh, depressing. Uh, there was one more. One. There's a few. Yeah. <laughs> what? I didn't know him very well. You guys knew him well. The guy who died with the alcohol, the liver thing. Stony Tony, right? Stony Tony. Tony. Oh, yeah. Tony. Yeah, yeah. Stony. The guy that died with the liver thing. 
R.I.P. Stony Tony. Well remembered. Guys, thanks for calling in. Take care. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye. There we go. That's a group call from many people, including Mr. Failor, who dresses as a bear. He did. He had like this bear suit with the hood, with the little ears. Creepy motherfucker. I'll say, I'll say that. Oh, yeah. you'd like you'd have liked him. Yeah, yeah. How do you know what? He was a nice guy. Uh -huh. He's a nice guy. He's Dutch. That explains, Dutch. That nice. explains everything. Very very nice chap. Uh, <laughs> Bruce Willis in the chat <laughs> said, Gang of fucking retards. <laughs> <laughs> but there are retards. There are people. You're talking about them or us? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> We're all special in our own special way. Uh, I've got to tell you, as well, uh, Andy's joined us, social media, Andy. Has uh, he? Yeah, yeah, he's just popped in. When are you coming to play with us? You need to come and play with us. And, uh, <laughs> Anton, as well, came late and said, uh, I'm late, therefore I must resign. Which is a, little, that was a nice little nod to the... Uh... He didn't quit, though, did he? The Lord. For anyone that doesn't know, a Lord was late to a meeting and he, he quit. But then he went, so he went out, big palaver, but he hasn't quit. Changed his mind. Yeah. Decided it wasn't necessary when he realised how much money he'd be giving up. Yeah, and how much, he got loads of good publicity from it as well, didn't he? Uh, Happy Dogs made a very good point about religious schools. Uh, it's a fair point about warping kids' minds. He'll give you that. But without faith schools, there'd be no Catholic schoolgirls. Don't rob future generations of those repressed little vixens. Happy Dogs into schoolgirls. Well, the Has thing. he been hanging out with you? <laughs> it's, it's, it's you dirty it's, bastard! It's our one. Th it's our one thing that we just fully agree on. <laughs> Two words together: school girls, children. Stop <laughs> it! I think the point is though that they, they'll still be repressed Catholics. They'll they'll grow up to be all all messed up and everything. They'll still be repressed. Yeah. Catholic parents are incredibly overbearing. Yeah, but they've got to have the original the original outfits, man. <laughs> It's not. It's no good sending them when they're 22, 23 off to the, the school thing and buying it. It's got to be the stuff they wore then when they were back then. It, you, you can tell the difference. You need to be on a fucking <laughs> register. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I've got to say about it. <laughs> fucking cyclists. I'm just, I'm just a Cyclists <laughs> and fucking kids. What is it with you people? You people? <sighs> Yeah, cyclists. Uh, apparently they're all religious golfing paedophile cyclists. So there we go. <laughs> You're not wrong. And I promise you that when we get into power with the trigger warning party, I'll do away with that nonsense. I'll put a stop to that. Nonsense. Exactly. <laughs> Cycle lanes, no more. If you want to ride a bike, you'll do it under police supervision to make sure the children are safe. Won't be allowed near a park or a school either. No offence, Graham. <laughs> But, you know, you can't make an omelette without breaking some eggs. I'm not offended by you, man, anymore. That's all right. I don't, I don't <laughs> think I ever was. <laughs> Just so long as you know I mean every fucking word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any emails, Cherry? <laughs> We've got another one off Richard. Uh, <coughs> McBrexit again. No. Oh. That's it. Exclamation mark. McBrexit. Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know what that, I don't know what that means. No, I'm, I'm not confused. McBrexit. Let's pause if that. Uh, Did they have another one when we weren't looking? Yeah. Did Ronald we miss something? Charge. We've been too busy, Graham. It's a new I was going to say working, but gassing <laughs> like two old women. But the best thing is, we do all the trigger warning things, and then we just go on gassing fucking. <laughs> Dude, last week I was up till five. You know, Sunday. 5am I was up till not even gaming I just was just wired I saw the one well, Sunday was a cracking show but I saw the one where the other night Graham said I'm off to bed mate I went okay and before I went he'd, he'd sneak back into Battlefield <laughs> just don't want to play with me I understand that's never happened it's happened uh, that's not happened it has um, did it it tells you maybe it said no, just, just, don't, 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 <laughs> don't don't do that don't do that, Graham. I wouldn't. Uh, no, no, I wouldn't do that. I would have sent you an invite. <laughs> why would I not want to play with you? I just assumed That'd you were so like, weird. I just assumed you'd like logged off and then gone. I'm not sleepy. <laughs> I'm going to go and play some more. 
because I was logging off no. anyway. But it's all right. Don't you don't have to make excuses. I, I, I was probably watching Netflix, but it still said that Netflix I was, whilst yeah. playing on a different map. Yes. No, 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 no. no. You're lying. <gasps> oh, I know what you're talking about. Oh, we know. We know. Oh, I know what it was. It, I know what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because I popped it back up again, and you were in the server, and it said press square to spectate, and I was like, ooh. So I did it. And it and like did the weird crash thing. That would have like, been it. Why the fuck would anyone want to spectate? Well, that's what I did. Field? Well, I, I pressed it, and then I went. Actually, no. Fuck that. It's that one in the morning. Um, but that that will have been it. That will will have been what give you the little thing. Because I, I quite like the idea of yeah, being over yeah, your shoulder. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shut up. Yes, just stop fucking lying, boo. <laughs> <Just, laughs> I would have lie about something like that. Stop fucking lying. I would have just gone. Yeah, You're just making it worse. I, I fancied another game, whatever. But I, there's nothing to lie about. Uh, got a email. <laughs> a Fuck. Gorilla Mike. Uh, Gorilla Mail. Yeah. Uh, I went to a faith school. The teachers were miserable cunts because no one listened to their god obsessions, and we generally had to learn about how God created the world in science lessons. Thank Christ for Dodgy Mike behind Wilco, who used to sell us weed. In science lessons? Mm -hmm. Fuck. It's not right, is it? No. It's not right. Science today! Unicorns! <laughs> <laughs> and what they did for the planet! Fucking hell, that's ridiculous. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Um, right, we got it. Well, fucking hell, no! What, what, what? The one story I wanted to talk about, we were running out of time. Yeah, no, I was, I was going to hammer on, I'm on my social media then. Darren oh, Osborne. It's not stopping. Darren Osborne, who uh, drove a van to uh, a mosque at Finsbury Park, North London, killing one and injuring 12. There he is. Uh, look at that chap. He's now been found guilty uh, of those crimes. Drove all the way from Wales, um, and his plan was to kill some Muslims. He, he told everyone in the pub where he was planning it. Anyway, he's been found guilty. Whatever your thoughts on this are, we know Finsbury Park Mosque has been, my well, still, I don't know, a hotbed for uh, some pretty mm, not very nice people. The fact is, that probably ordinary worshippers, it's a fucking terrible thing to be running any groups of people over who have probably not done anything. Let's not get into that because that gets into personal ideas. It's not what I want to talk about. It's Darren Osborne I want to talk about. And um, not, not just about what he did. It was his defence in the court case. I think I've got some here. You see, although he'd copped to it and he admitted it. What are you doing? Serious story, eh? Serious story, eh? What fuck about? I'm doing the news. I bet they don't have this on ITN, do they? <laughs> they don't have cunts like me on ITN either, though, to be fair. Um... He claimed that there were other people in the van with him, especially Dave. Didn't know Dave's second name, uh, but Dave was driving the van. Um, the prosecutor asked Osborne why CCTV footage showed only one man leaving the van and what had happened to Dave. The witty prosecutor then added, he's not a magician, is he? Well, you're not going to catch Darren Osborne out like that. He replied, he is. <laughs> He's like Dynamo, who's a street magician here in the UK. An illusion, an illusionist. He can make himself vanish, perhaps. So Osborne claimed that Dave jumped into the van as he'd driven under a railway bridge on the Seven Sisters Road, and he said he was unable to identify on CCTV footage where it, that had occurred. And he said it's just sod's law they didn't pick it up. But Dave jumped in, and Osborne hid in the footwell of the van during the incident. He said he'd only ducked into the footwell of the van to change his trousers because he felt he may have urinated on them. So he wasn't sure, but he thought he might have pissed himself. So he got down into the footwell of the van to change his trousers and, um, you know, Dave ran all the Muslims over and then vanished. Which, to be fair, could happen. Probably happens quite a lot, doesn't it, Graham? All the time. Daily. Unicorns, Daves. They all get in the way. Um, but what was even more fascinating was when he was planning his attack. Um, the barman at the pub, and thanks to Daz, Daz Lawrence, our web editor, for flashing this up for me. 
The barman as, uh, said that the defendant, Mr Osborne, claimed he was also a soldier. But when asked what regiment he was in, he replied, You'll find out tomorrow. The pub is where Darren planned most of his operation whilst drinking heavily. He said he immediately recognised Mr Osborne in coverage of the Finsbury Park attack, adding, I wish I had done more at the time. I wish I had called the police. Callum Spencer, who's a uh, Royal Engineers sh soldier, said he'd, heard the over he'd overheard Mr Osborne mention the word terrorists as he went to the bar to get a drink and challenged his claim of being a fellow soldier. Mr Spencer said he was mumbling, but I heard him say, I'm going to kill Muslims. Your family are going to be Muslims. They're all terrorists, and I'm going to take it into my own hands. Wit this, this part. Witnesses described Mr Osborne getting aggressive after he was challenged to recite the phonetic alphabet to prove he was a soldier. When asked some letters, you know, Foxtrot, Charlie, Tango, Golf, that kind of thing, <laughs> they said, what's the letter B? Mr Osborne said, bacon. But we know it's butters, don't we? <laughs> bacon. A was Andy. H was house. Which kind of proves he probably wasn't a soldier. Um, despite his, his apparently watertight defence of vanishing Dave's, Phonetic alphabet that involves B being bacon. I just fucking love that choice. <laughs> of all the things. What's B? Bacon. You might have been peckish, so I get a bit like that. I do love bacon. Oh, no, anyway, don't want to get sidetracked. We're nearly at the end of the show. So despite this watertight defence, having it all together, pulling it all together like a master weaver, found guilty, sent down murder, manslaughter, and all those other sort of things. Fuck him, drove his van into a crowd of people. Um, one of whom was already dying on the floor, I believe. Something of that nature. He's going to do our time. And deservedly so. Deservedly so. Now, I know there will be some viewers watching and say, ah, oh, it was only Muslims. Or whatever. Yeah, come on, guys. They were just people. But fuck him, he's going down anyway. Despite an amazing defence. But remember, guys. A is Andy, B is Bacon, H is House. Have we got any emails there, Cherry? Uh, yes, we've got one from Pete. Uh, Hayden, what's your thoughts on PESCO? Have I said that right? Uh, P-E-S-C-O. Do you think it will undermine NATO? And as the UK is not a member, diminish its standing further in the world? If we're not a member, it's irrelevant. Much like the European Union will be when we leave it, when we get Brexit. If we're not in it, no one's going to win it. Can I just say a... Um... <laughs> Is that right? That's fucking spot on. Take that to the bank. Put money on it. Safer bet than Bitcoin. <laughs> that Bitcoin fella... <laughs> I'm not going into that right now. He's richer than everyone now, isn't he? Yeah, but the arse has oh, come out of it for everyone whatever. else, hasn't it? But he, he owns so many of them that he's richer than, like... Oh, he'll be fine, but everyone... I, I know a couple of people, you know, when he was going on the... They said, I'm going to put a few grand on. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I didn't put anything on. I mean, I'd put... Yeah, I'd be willing. I've never bought any Bitcoin. But I was talking to a guy who's a sensible investor, and I was like, I, you know, I'd, I'd throw 20 quid a month here for fun. Mm. But that's it. I know people have lost a few grand on it. But look how much money I've made and they fucking tanked. Yeah, they've not, made it, they've not made it until they cashed it out. That's the thing, that's the thing. But the other thing about being anonymous, but it's not anonymous once you cash it out, isn't it? If you made a million, what are you going to do? Stick it under the fucking bed. You know? I don't know. I'll worry there's about always, that. There's always a trace. I'll worry about that with my million. Uh, apparently, Happy Dog said that Graham is ruthless with who he plays with. I felt his cold shoulder. I'm not. Why? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm getting I'm getting arsy about this because I'm because I'm genuinely not, and it's, so it's annoying me. I'll, I I'll sit here going on about schoolgirls and all that with no thing, but this, <laughs> this is absolutely annoying me. Uh, Tiny Rick said, "Scrap all religion, spend time on science, get off this rock." Um, and then Fritz jumped in with, "Did you mean get out from under that rock?" 
Mm. Just always thinking. They're, 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 yeah, they're all driving, aren't they? And talking, always thinking. And See, Elon Musk did well with his flamethrowers. Yeah, dude sold like thousands and thousands. I like Elon Musk more and more all the yeah. time. <laughs> he wanted to raise money for a tunnel boring company called The Boring Company, so he sold flamethrowers. Yeah. Do you know, I think that was just his way of showing the world I can do whatever the fuck I like. Check this out, I'm going to sell flamethrowers. Yeah. And it's legal, isn't it? If they don't, yeah. As long as they don't... Mm. Ten foot, isn't it? Ten feet in America, ten so feet. you can use his flamethrowers anywhere. Fucking great. I just love the fact he's just like, that's that, what we're going to do today. Well, we've got these finance projections. Guys, we're going to make some flamethrowers. I want you to make me a great flame. It has to look like something out of the Aliens movie, though, yeah? I'll expect it on my desk by tomorrow. I'd be like, mint. Let's go. It's pre-orders as well, isn't it? That's the thing. He's just got a mock-up of it and gone, pre-order this, and everyone's gone, oh, yes. Oh, he's run around with it, lit up. Yeah, oh, my God. running at the oh, camera, with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that, yeah, yeah. Crazy though, it's crazy. <coughs> it's brilliant. Really? He's just proving a point, isn't he? He can do it whatever he likes. Yeah. Okay, update on the hearts. Actually, we've got we're on like eight or nine now. We've got Lynn, Chrissy, Anthony, Dave, James, Alex, Tanya, Guy, and Natalie. There you go. Thank you. They're all there. They're all yeah, loads see. of hearts. They're winning. They're winning. We've come tonight. to pretty much the end of the show. I didn't even get to tell everyone about the new trigger one and stuff. Before, before just that. before the end of the show. No. Ah, oh, come on. Go on. No. Because it's you. Thank you, our kid, my younger brother took his sock off this morning and there was a cat shit inside his sock he'd been walking around the whole fucking morning <laughs> so uh, sorry Dave but he didn't notice no he's like well done Dave off. I've got a picture I'll show you in a minute we at trigger warning salute you <laughs> um, I'll keep you guys fully updated as to the political party idea it might wear off by tomorrow morning if I'm still th if I'm still thinking about it when I wake up it'll happen I can almost guarantee Graham will get a call about noonish Going, Graham, we've got a political party. So. <laughs> we're legit. <laughs> we're legit, Graham. We made it. The legit party. <laughs> but I won't be running for office. Couple of reasons. Number one, no one will vote for me. Number two, it'd just be my luck that they fucking did. And I'd end up in Westminster not knowing what the fuck to do. And feeling really uncomfortable. Because that's all they do, innit? They go, right, where's your staff? I go, what fucking staff? Graham's got to look after his kid today and he's just been mate. I don't have staff for this. Well, there's your office. Well, what are I doing there? Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's not like that, though. Somebody meets you. And they sit you down. They explain how much money you've got. And they they, they guide you through it. Like a, like a like an expensive fuck. Honestly. You're not there. Like I, ooh, You get fucked. No, because you remember that uh, oh. the Scottish girl that got that got elected? The yeah. really young one. That, she did a thing about... Can you roll up after we've gone off air? I can hear that. <laughs> he's there like I'm already fucking done with this but um no she's me cat shit in my brother's socks Sorry, <laughs> she, she's just like fucking dead yeah, done but you no know, she did a thing about like how, how nervous she was but apparently it's amazing like there's a whole team waiting for you and we'd be right because we know like we'd all rock down there anyway wouldn't we to yeah, have a look would. yeah yeah preferably having a few beers on the train because it'd be wrong not to turn up stinking a beer wouldn't it you know unwashed I, the more I'm thinking about this, the more I'm liking it. You'd have to be an MP though, and you don't want none of this local government. Sorry, man. You don't want local shit, because that'd be actual work. No, 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 no. no. We don't do that. <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't be an MP. I won't run, but I like the idea of a party. Mm. But I can't run for anything, because I just, you know, do the I'll fuck. do it. There we go. I'll be the face of it all. My VIP right, class. So, do you know what? We'll just nix that, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> No fucking faith, anyone. In <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's, it's not that I don't have faith in you. I just don't have faith in you for that. Oh, fair do. That's all right. You can be in the gang. Hayden's back oh, on the, the fake elephant vagina <laughs> idea now, and he's like, I'm going to need a lot of jelly. Jerry, <laughs> just stick your hand up there. <laughs> for the poster. But I reckon we should do this. I, I really reckon we should do this, and we'll have to have a chat about this um, after. I think it's very important. Possibly while we're in Battlefield. Surrounded by other people that can hear us. Yeah, some, some random American trying to bring, do it well, he best was, to ignore I, us. He was talking about shit in the game and things. Yeah. I'm not having that. That's not what I'm going there for. You could hear his baby as well, which obviously I didn't judge him for. Because that, that very day at around noon, I've been doing the same thing. It just must be so heartbreaking that they get on there, they got some time, they should talk tactics, and who've they got on the fucking team? Yeah. The hires. <laughs> Hiya, hiya. Oh, yeah. You're right, mate. Yeah, I was to you five minutes ago. Cool, how have you been? Jumping around on each other. <laughs> in the trenches. 
<laughs> running around in fucking circles. Yeah. Must be very disheartening. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Trigger warning, we will be back next Thursday. However, the podcast will be out for the patrons in the morning. Tomorrow afternoon, this show will be uploaded uh, uh, probably by Monday for everybody to watch again if they're fucking really masochistic. And we're about the radio show starting up, I believe, some... Oh, fuck it, some point this month. You're going back to Fab? I think I am. I'm supposed to. I said I would. I just don't remember when. Maybe this time, they'll actually show it's me on the fucking radio when I'm on. Not someone else. Like, I'm the dirty secret. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, but... So, we're all back on track, so all going. Safe Space will be coming out probably Monday or Tuesday as well, the next episode for our patrons. If you'd like to become a patron, it'd be great if you would. It's patreon.com slash triggerwarningtv. Patreon.com slash triggerwarningtv. Get in touch with me through the week if you want on any of the addresses down below. Uh, at Hayden Hewitt on Twitter. And, of course, on LiveLeak, LL underscore Hayden. Just drop me a line if you feel like it. If you don't, it's fine. Unless you're just bitching, then I can't be asked because it gets boring. You know, you know full well I don't really read those ones anyway. I just... Well, I just don't do anything with them, really. Uh, unless there's a good insult in it. Then I usually reply. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much. Goodbye to everyone on Facebook. All the guys have been intrepid on YouTube trying checking down the channel there and... You guys on Trigger Warning TV, you are the astronauts to the future. Thank you very much. And, of course, everyone watching on my beloved Live League. Until next week, or the next time you listen to us, bye-bye.